This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Now in a cluster, instead of configuring a individual Hyper-V host, as we'll see here, if we actually go to our tools, I'm on Hyper-V01, which is part of the cluster. Let's open up Hyper-V Manager and go to the Hyper-V settings, replication configuration. It's actually grayed out because this host is part of a cluster. So in order to configure it, we need to create a replica broker. And it's just a role. So I'm going to right click on my roles, configure role. Let's go ahead and click next. And there it is, Hyper-V replica broker enables the failover cluster to participate in virtual machine replication with Hyper-V replica. Only one Hyper-V replica broker can be configured on each failover cluster. And the reason we have to do this is because we're not going to be replicating to a specific host or from a specific host because a highly available virtual machine could live on any host at any given time. So this replica broker kind of acts like a go-between between the hosts that are in the cluster and, in our case, the destination, which is Hyper-V03. So let's give it a name. I'm just going to call it HV Broker. 01 and we need to give it an IP address. I'll give it dot 153. I'll go ahead and click next. And next again. And finish. So now we have our replica broker. So it's just a roll, just like our virtual machines, and can fail over and fail back. You can see it's right now it's on Hyper-V01. It could fail over to Hyper-V02. So now let's right click on our broker here and go to replication settings. So this is going to look just like when we configured it on an individual host here. So we're going to enable it. I'm going to go ahead and use HTTP. If I was going to use HTTPS then I'd want to add a certificate. As far as authorization and storage, again I could allow just individual servers to be uh, a primary server and replicate to our cluster. I'm just going to allow replication from any authenticated server and let's go ahead and browse. I'm actually going to put the replica in my C drive clusters storage on a CSV volume. Let's go ahead and just create a new folder here. I'm going to call this one replica. and click OK. Let's me know ensure the inbound TCP exception again is enabled in the firewall on each node in the cluster. Go ahead and click OK. So on this node if I wanted to I could use my Windows firewall with advanced security, inbound rules, and scroll down. There it is. Hyper-V replica lister TCP in. I'll just right click on it, enable it. And if I go over to Hyper-V02 here, we're going to run the enable-net firewall rule display name or Hyper-V replica HTTP listener, TCP in. All right, and now our cluster is ready to be replicated to if we needed to. And in the case of a fail back is, is when it might need to be replicated to in our scenario.